Players Hangout, brought to you by Google. And we're... I did that well, didn't I? <coughs> I couldn't get it earlier. Now yeah. we're joined here by four of the top stars of handball and Dominic Klein. Um, now we're joined here by four of the top stars of handball from West Bram, on my right, Lazo Nadge, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to see him. Dominic Klein from uh, THW Kiel. Dominic, great to see you. Victor Tomas from Barcelona and Lasses van Hansen from SG Flensburg Hundred. The team from the north of Germany. I did get it right. Now listen, this is the story here. It's uh, Google's Player Hangout. We've never done it before. It's our first time. We hope you enjoy it. We've got some guests on the line who are going to ask our players questions. They're going to answer as honestly as they can. And just to give you a little idea about how this works, I showed my little four-year-old daughter pictures of all these guys and I said to her, what question would you ask these guys? So Laszlo, you pick up the microphone first. She said, Laszlo, how, what did your mother feed you to make you so big? <laughs> I think you're okay, go for it. No? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, you don't know. She fed you a lot, right? She gave you a lot. Okay, Dominic, this is her question for you. She said, Dominic, how did you get to be so good looking? No. Uh, he's so cute. Now, Victor, here's your question. She said, Victor, well, we can't hear you in here. I don't know. Is it we can hear? We can hear. Don't worry. So you have to, Victor, she said, how come you've got such a beautiful smile? I don't know. That's what she said. That's from my parents. Is but it? my parents fed me a lot as well, and I didn't uh, grow yeah. up that much at Laszlo, you know? And then this is the question for Laszlo. She said, Laszlo, even in front of 15,000 home fans, how was it possible that Denmark could lose the European final? Oh, no, I'm only joking, Laszlo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm only, I'm only kidding, Lassie. It's good, it's good to see you all. Now, as I said, we've got Katrine from Berlin. We've got Martin, who cycled all the way here from Sweden. Hello, Katrine. How are you? Hi, great. Hi. Good. Martin, how are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Good. He's, uh, he's sore parts, I'd say. What do you think after cycling all the I'm way? I'm a bit Sweden? tired after the route, but yeah, it's okay. Good, good. We have Frederick and Renato from Norway. Hello, Frederick and Renato. Hello. Renata. Renata or Renato? Which is it? Renata. Renata, thank you very much. And all the way from Brazil, we've got Rodrigo. Hi, Rodrigo. Hello, guys. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank no, for being here. Thank, thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay, Rodrigo, because you come from furthest away, we're going to start with you. Have you got a question and who is it for? Okay. Okay, my question goes for Dominic, and I'd like to know at what, what age did he start playing handball, and where? Was it in school, in a park, or where was it? his first contact with handball? My first contact with handball was uh, because my family all play handball, my father, my mother, and also my older brother, six-year-older brother, and um, I want to be... Yeah, so tough like like he because he was a national youth player and he was captain and uh, I want to do the same way like him. Mm -hmm. Oh, good good question, Rodrigo. I'll tell you what, Laszlo, how old were you when you started playing handball? First, I uh, I started handball uh, with eight years and uh, of course first the uh, first touch with the ball was uh, with basketball because my father was a uh, oh did he say basketball player. on the handball Google hangar? Did you just say basketball or the? Yes, yeah, so uh -oh. I started with basketball, but uh, after I changed for handball because in Hungary handball was uh, most popular than than basketball, and of course I joined. Uh, very young and I keep in this sport. So what Laszlo was actually trying to say is there was more money in handball in Hungary than there was in basketball. No, I'm only kidding, Laszlo. It's great. Thank God you made the choice. It's all I have to say. Victor, what were you? Uh, I was eight when uh, when I started to play. Because of my uh, my father was uh, a player and a coach, and I just started to play handball. Uh, not the same that my friends, that all of them were kicking the ball. 
with the feet, but you know. I don't uh, think you can kick a ball with anything else, can you? I can do it, you can. but <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see it, you know. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be in uh, in handball. Lasse, how old are you? How old am I now? No. <laughs> how old were you when you started playing? I was uh, 30, and. Uh, I only started because uh, all of my friends, uh, they started to play handball instead of uh, football. And so all of my friends uh, didn't play football and I didn't have any of my friends there. So I just thought uh, I'll give handball a try. And it was uh, pretty fun. Yeah, I tell you, well, it's, it's, it's fantastic for all of us. It's, it's interesting that in this, in this Google Hangout with the players, we have three left-handers and one right-hander. So, I mean, did, did Daddy tie your right arm behind your back, boys, you know, to make sure that you were going to play, you know, because you're gold dust, aren't you? Left-handers, or was it just... Not to me. Nobody tied the hand to me, but right in to my grandmother with, uh, you know, Franco time in uh, Spain. But uh, not to me, not to me. You know, I'm, uh, I'm left-handed, I'm uh, right foot, yeah. so I'm a strange guy, strange guy but uh, I'm okay with that. Okay. So Dominic, you're the only right-hander. Let's uh, let's go to Katrine because I think she's a big fan of Dominic Klein. Katrine, can you hear us? What well, surprise? Yes, of course I can hear you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What question uh, is it for Dominic? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Um, um, this season you was the gift supervisor in your team, Dominic. You know, and will you change your gift supervisor? You know it. You were I know, the youth I know, supervisor? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm the gift supervisor, yeah. Uh, Katrin, Katrin do you, I'm do sorry. You, we would like to understand the question to Dominic, so uh, it would be Stop very okay German. to speak in English. Yeah. Please. He, he is the gift supervisor in the team. And so I want to know if you want to change it next season or do you um, want to stay with the job? Everybody knows who is the gift supervisor? I presume you're the guy who gives the <laughs> presents to the team? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, We're clever here. <laughs> at the last match uh, from our team now uh, in the season, so I have to buy the a watch for uh, Sigurdsson and uh, for Christian Zeitz because they are the players um, who lose. Um, <laughs> who lose. Our team, no. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they do. They, they do could. lose your team. Yeah. <laughs> what I'd like to know is, do you have to put the Hungarian watch an hour faster, or is it, you know? I don't know I which don't know. Don't which which, which present he gets in uh, in Westbrem, but <laughs> I'm um, yeah. That's my job in our team. Uh, Thank do you. you have a job, Lasse, in your team? You have a job uh, in your team that uh, the yes, water boy, the ball boy, the. Not the ball boy. What are you? What are you, what are you doing? I uh, arrange the parties. <laughs> really? Yeah, and uh, together with uh, Jakob Heiner, and uh, we're doing terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's a difficult place to have a party, Flensburg, isn't it? No, no, that's that's. I mean, does that's, does that's anybody okay. does that's anybody here actually know where Flensburg is? Please raise your right hand. <laughs> Two people in the audience. Three. All right, you don't count. That that's okay. Flensburg is okay because it's only about. Seven kilometers, uh, and then you're at the border to Denmark, and that's perfect. Yeah, it rains a lot in Denmark, doesn't it? Have you got a job, Victor, on your team? I have several jobs, but uh, uh, just among, we'll, we'll among, we'll among them, I arrange the the dinner for the new players every year. The new, new newcomers are uh, paying a dinner for all the team. Nice so idea. I, I arrange that, and uh, you know I like to eat well. So a five-star Michelin is where they go, is it? Well, Karol Bartic has the money, you know. He can, he can, he can bring you to a five-star. For, for Nikola and Kirill was okay, but for Joan Sawick was not that okay this year. He know? brought you to Burger King, did he? No, because because he paid a, a, a new players' dinner in Logroño, and after that he came to Barcelona and he had to pay again. That's so, why he. Yeah. That's why he looks so sad, eh? Laszlo, have you got a have you got a job on your team? Besides captain? Yes, uh, sometimes, uh, especially with the Iranian guy, with Jamali, because uh, his mind, uh, I don't know where he is. So, <laughs> I, yes, of course, I have to call his attention about uh, everything uh, time, trainings, clothes, passport, uh, every, everything. So, so, you're the babysitter? Yes, <laughs> I am his father. That's good. <laughs> it look like. <laughs> Now, you may not know it, but in the hotel where we're staying, the Radisson Blue, we have four elevators, which, by the way, you're quicker using the stairs. I don't know what's going on with them. Has anybody noticed that? You stand in the lobby, it takes like one hour for them to come down. 
but on the doors of the elevators are the pictures of players. So I'm just going to ask the guys, who who made it onto the door? Laszlo, are you on the door of one of the elevators? Yes, I am. Uh, Congratulations, Laszlo. That's thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. They choose a nice uh, picture of me. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yes, but it's, it's really nice uh, to pay attention and know all in it. Uh, yeah. Now, let's go to Dominic. Dominic, um, you've played a lot of Champions League matches this season, and uh, did, you make the, did you make the elevator? <laughs> that was, I think, the, the only match I played in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, against, against, against Metalurg, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because Markowski is also yeah, on the list. Of, of course. <laughs> really? Billy. That's Billy right. Jalous. That's Billy Jalous is there. Well. Lasse, did you did you make the elevator? I made the elevator as well. You yeah. made the elevator. Yeah. When you make the elevator, you're you're there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm there. There, there were I think a lot of good pictures to yeah. choose from, and they chose well. They did choose well. Yeah. And let's go to the uh, Barcelona player, um, and and ask the captain of Barcelona, a man who has been with Barcelona since he's been. Two years old or something. I can um, answer your question before you yeah. made it. <laughs> Did you make the elevator, Victor? No, but I'm gonna tell why. Okay. Because uh, I'm too short to be in an elevator door. <laughs> <laughs> so the door. People would think the, the door, door is too small. We needed a bigger guy. That's true. So Leonidas, you know, Karavatic. I do. Yeah. Yeah. He was. That's the, it. He was the guy. Leonidas, three hundred. Yeah. Good. I let him to be there. Very good. Let's go to Frederick and Renata from uh, Norway. Hi guys, how are you? I feel like I'm in, the, I'm in the Eurovision. Can we have the votes from the Norwegian jury, please? <laughs> what? We're actually in Cologne right now. Where are you? In Cologne. Now you should never have said that. That 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 ruins the that ruins. <laughs> I mean, Rodrigo's probably in Cologne too, but we made it sound like he's in Brazil. You know. What's your question, guys? Yeah, that's true. Uh, my question is for Victor. For Renato, Victor? Victor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. I'm like speaking on behalf of all the Norwegian people now. You should know. And uh, we want to know why, since you have a Norwegian girlfriend, why you don't get a Norwegian passport and come play for us. <laughs> That is a damn good question. Yeah. This and by the way, congratulations, Victor. Thank you. On your girlfriend becoming your fiance. Oh yeah. No, nobody needs to know that. We all know that. <laughs> you told us in an interview, remember? Yeah. Okay, uh, including how you did it. Yeah, I know. It's a good question and a difficult answer. Um, <laughs> you know, Norwegian passport right now. With all the money thing, it's happening. It's like gold, <coughs> and I really would like to have the Norwegian passport right now. But uh, I'm very happy in in Spain, in Barcelona. But uh, you know, you never know. Some maybe in the future, uh, I can be ending my career in Nor in Norway. So we'll see. We'll yeah, see what happens. because even even ending your career in Norway, you're probably better than most of the players they have, Victor, right? <laughs> Did I say that out loud? I apologize. Uh, Norwegian Norway. players. I love Norway. Norwegian players are very good. Yeah, I hate them not again. I don't know what that means? Is, is that right? No. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, thank you, Renata. You're very, you're very good. Good question. Thank Laszlo, you. Laszlo, can I just on that point? Uh, there was a time that maybe you were going to play for Spain. Is that true that we heard that story once? Yeah. Good story. Thanks for this question. Uh, it's no problem. <laughs> uh, yes, it was true. Some years ago, I had the option. To have a Spanish passport, but in this moment I went back to my country, to Hungary, to play with a, a West Friends T-shirt. So after no more, no more history, no more question about my Spanish passport. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Lasse, though, you have had success with Denmark, right? You have won things. What have you got? What have you got in your back pocket from Denmark? Uh, what I medals? Got, I I got a lot of uh, silver. Yeah, that's true. Lately. Well, you've got some goals. I got one gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm very proud of that. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> it it didn't look that like that uh, from the start, but uh, but it was a great tournament for us. Uh, we had a little bit of luck, maybe a lot, uh, but uh, but we brought it home. Uh, you and you that did. was uh, that was uh, awesome. Yeah. 
sometimes luck just runs out, doesn't it? You know, it just. Yeah, I think uh, our luck uh, ran out in the last two finals. Ah, That's don't worry. Sure. We're only we're only kidding. Let's go to Martin, who cycled all the way from Sweden. Uh, Martin, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. And you? Good. Uh, at the moment, you look like a YouTube page to me, but uh, it's a good look. <laughs> Thank you. Martin, who, who would you like to ask a, a question of, and uh, what would you like to ask? Uh, my question is for Laszlo. Okay. Uh, I am 14 years old right now, and I'm playing handball in the south of Sweden. I am a bit tall, but I'm wondering how tall you was when you was 14 years old. Oh, good question. So I don't remember, but uh, it looks like that uh, it was uh, very tall, near two meters. So I have to check it. So after I will, I will tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. His his mother has all the markings on a door frame at home. So she. Yes, yes I had. Yes, she'll, I yeah, had. Yeah. She'll send us a just send us an Instagram. But that's a that's a great. Actually, how tall were you when you were 14, Dominic? You remember? Were you tall? Mini? Yeah. How tall were you at 14? I don't know. I don't know. What no? was it now? Victor? <laughs> I don't want to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Lasso, what about you? Yeah, yeah, final. I think it's more interesting to know how, how tall were you, Tom, when you were 14? Okay, when I was 14, I was a bit of a runt, actually. And uh, this means that I was, I was quite small and uh, nothing really has changed, which is why I have Victor Tomas sitting beside me at the, at the players' hangout rather than Laszlo Nagy, who, by the way, my arm is not long enough to interview. Um, you don't see so small, though. Well, believe me, the camera is adding uh, 10 kilos at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I've got to do some more, more press-ups. Martin, tell us about your idea to, uh, to cycle all the way from Sweden to the Final Four. Yes, uh, I, was, I was playing a beach handball cup last summer, and, uh, and we were sitting about with uh, my, my parents and uh, some friends, and we looked uh, like uh, to build uh, tickets of uh, Final Four, and then but beside uh, I playing handball, I cycling also, so it was a good training, so um, yes. Well, so then I'm it's like a good goal to see some great handball then. Absolutely, and may I just say that it's wonderful to see you wearing a football jersey of a team that no one actually knows uh, on, a, on a handball hangout. That was, that, was, that was a great plan, Martin. Lasse, what do you think of somebody like that, a fan who actually cycles all the way? I mean, you came from close enough to Denmark, it's far enough, but you flew. You cycled. I mean, what, does it, what is it about a handball fan that, uh, that, is, that is something special? I think that's a great example of, of a fan who is uh, willing to do something extra, and uh, and that's perfect. That's uh, that's fun for us uh, to to sit here and and uh, and see how much uh, uh, a young man uh, uh, would do to to come and and, and see us play handball. That's uh, that's uh, yeah, that's very very impressive. Yeah. Martin, Thank you very much. Team, which team are you supporting while you're here? Oh, uh, I support Team TUV Kiel. Correct team. <laughs> now come on, Dominic. You have to, you can have to really. Excuse yes. me. Sir. Can yes, I can I take my statement back? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm sorry, Lasse. <laughs> delete that part. But, but I but I heard you also play beach handball in summer. Is it right? With uh, yes. Hans. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. We, and we won. Sorry, it was that cup. Yeah. If you're if you're a left-hander in Denmark, you have to play beach handball to supplement uh, your training. Uh, you know. Just keep that fitness level up, right, Lasse? No, I have to say, guys, you're, you're doing really well. Let's go back to uh, Rodrigo, because he's calling us all the way from Brazil. Imagine what his phone, his phone charges are like. Rodrigo, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Good. What, would you like to ask someone else a question? Are you, are you, by the way, are you supporting Barcelona? You know, that kind of Latin thing going on? No, actually, I'm supporting SG Flensburg Hanowitz. Oh! <laughs> Big fan of uh, German handball, and I'm supporting you guys at this moment. Um, nice to know that you were asked me about Barcelona, but actually I'm supporting Flensburg. Is, is anybody supporting Barcelona, or I can leave the room? <laughs> um, well, I, I did see your media officer there a few moments ago, but I think he left. So, uh, I, uh, so I'm completely alone here? You're, you're totally alone. I mean, I Thank can't you. support anybody. I love you all. Rodrigo, is there anything you'd like to ask Lasse about SG Flensburg, kind of it? Yes, yes, there is. Uh, I'd like to know how... Does he have any superstitions before going to the court, like stepping with the right foot 
or like uh, be careful with the stairs or any kind of superstitions. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you didn't ask Victor to mask that because this is a 30 minute Google Hangout and uh, that story is interesting, believe me. I don't know how Victor gets on the court. So, Lassa, what, what do you do? Yeah, I, uh, as I was younger, I, I had a lot of uh, superstitions. Uh, I did a lot of uh, crazy things before every game. Uh, and as I got a little bit older, I'm not old, I'm just saying older. Um, Thanks for that, Lasse. You're just and, getting me uh, back right. <laughs> uh, they, got, um, uh, they got away from me. So, so now I don't have a lot. I got a few. Well, and you uh, have to tell us one. One thing you have to do before the end. But you know, the craziest thing about superstitions <laughs> is that if you tell them, then they don't work anymore. Did you hear that, Victor? Mm. Yes. <laughs> you got to you stop I to tell them about superstitions. You, it, I, ha I have so much of them, so I can explain them, so I can have a lot of uh, a lot of more. You know, it's okay for me if some of them doesn't work. Dominic, do you have any superstitions? Go on, tell us one at least. Uh, I need a cold shower before before the match, <laughs> and after after also. <laughs> it has to be yeah. cold. Yeah, it has to be cold. Yeah. Are you? Uh, no, no, no! <laughs> don't, don't ask! Don't <laughs> ask me anymore. I'm, I, I'm really, I'm, yes, I'm really not asking you why you need a cold shower before the game. Really? <laughs> and after the game? Oh, of course. Play or not play? You need a cold shower after the game. <laughs> if, I, if, <laughs> if I don't play, I need a shower. Laszlo, have you any? any uh, yes, uh, I have before the game, of course, in a in a changing room, no? So. Go on, tell us, Lazo. Uh, like Lazo told, uh, I, I, I saved for, for myself. And, but I think it's normal now because every player uh, preparing different uh, things and they want to follow doing this. So, Okay, let's ask, let's, let's show our hands, right? Who of the four of you needs to put on their left shoe before the right shoe? Their right shoe before the left shoe? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> I think I'll stop at shoes. <laughs> I don't want to go any further. Um, Frederick and Renato. Frederick, we haven't heard from you. You're sitting there, you're smiling away. Would you like to ask yeah. one of the guys a question? Well, guys, I'm from Australia and I was just you're wondering. From, uh, where are you from? I'm uh, from Australia. Say good day, Sheila. Yeah, good day, Sheila. Oh, very good. I like yeah. it. Okay, go ahead. Um, I was just wondering if you could give, stop giving us such a hard time. Uh, uh, I know you need a win, but 40 pink seems a bit much. Uh, we need a bit of a break, guys. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying because I come from Ireland and it's taken me five years for people to stop saying, uh, what do you know about handball, although some people <laughs> still do, so please stop it. So, Lasse, you know what he's asking there? He's saying he's from Australia. They play in the World Championships every every four years. They are the champions of Oceania. You can't take that away from them. And then they um, can't win any games. I'm sorry, Australia, it's true. But it's tough, you know? I mean, but it's great to see that that our sport is not just in the in the big nations. So he's sort of saying, can you stop giving Australia a bad time? Not you personally, but... But is it good to see a team like Australia there? It's very good. Uh, I mean, uh, we played against Australia in, in Sweden in two uh, 2011. Uh, is that the game where you scored 25 goals? No, no. <laughs> you personally, I mean? <laughs> no, kidding. Uh, but, um, but I mean, it, it, was, uh, it was great to see them come all the way uh, and just have a good time and give it all. Uh, they, uh, they pushed as hard, uh, hard as they could. And, uh, and uh, I mean... Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, at the time there was uh, some problems in Australia, um, and uh, they had families who were in, I don't know how big trouble, but there was something uh, there, and uh, I mean they came uh, anyways, and yeah. they played their hearts out, and uh, that's that's and, all you can ask. And right? they were they were so friendly at the hotel, and uh, yeah. Yeah, love the guys. They're, and they love asking for autographs, right? So I heard the Australians, you know. Dominic, I mean, they, they played in 2007 in Germany, right? They must have done. You remember that? No, I remember not. But uh, in uh, Doha, in Qatar, we play against the uh, University of uh, Sydney. And there were also some uh, German players there. And, yeah. 
But it's great, as I said, it's great to see it. It's great to see it uh, spread out. We've got five minutes left. I think we need to talk about the. I, I think we need to talk about the final four now. I think we need to actually talk about the semi-finals. We place them together. It's uh, Kiel against Vesprem. Dominic. Now be honest, okay? In this game, how difficult is it going to be? And what are your chances? And don't say 50-50. Anybody says 50-50, they can just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we had a, a great uh, preparation for this uh, tournament against uh, Best Brem because uh, our last four games in the season was so hard, was so tough. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, we we fight for every ball, and uh, we need our defense uh, like the last uh, matches. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Was, so uh, what are you giving? What's the percentage? Kill win. <laughs> Is it fifty fifty, Dominic? Fifty fifty. Is it fifty fifty? Is it 50 -50? We we want to win uh, two matches on this weekend. So that's uh, what I can say. Okay, Laszlo. The game against Kiel, How difficult is it going to be? I can say the same, like Dominic. No, we want to, we want to win two games this season. No, so of course that um, Kiel has uh, practice in in final four more than first time because we are uh, first time that we are here. And it's great to see you here, by the way, Lazo. Really, Thank really you. good. Thank With Vespam, of course. So, <laughs> so uh, our final will be the semi-final against Kiel. I think this is the first step, and we are very concentrated in it, and I hope that uh, we can do it a uh, great game. Thanks, Lasso. Okay, boys, um, I'll leave you to last Lasse, actually, you know. Um, so I'll ask Victor. Victor, you're playing SG flensburg Handover. Do you know who they are? I mean, do you know where they're from and uh, things like that? Of course. I'm, I'm kidding. Of course. I'm, I'm only kidding, Lasse. Uh, they've, 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 done, they've done really well. They've done really well in the German Bundesliga. They're a, they're a very quick, strong team, great coach. Um, and a guy in goal who I believe used to play in Barcelona once upon a time, am I right? Yeah, when uh, Barrofed was injured. Oh, really? That's the only time he got to play? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I'm six, sure months, he, six, I, months. six months, all right. That's not so bad. Victor, but honestly, I mean, how tough is this game going to be for you? And uh, what are the chances? Well, you said almost everything. But. Uh, yeah, you can of course. You, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna listen that, but it's gonna be a, a tough game for sure. Uh, a lot of good players, good coach, as you said. But I think playing in Germany, it's a disadvantage for us, of course, and uh, for all the teams not coming from Germany. But you know, we know it's the it's the correct country to to prepare an event like this because Germany uh, loves handball, and this is uh, more than okay. But for sure. Uh, German teams are going to be uh, more supported for their fans here than than Bespram and Barcelona. Okay, thanks, Victor. Lasse, I mean, when you saw the draw, it is a great draw to play against Barcelona, but you must have thought, this does it get any tougher, or or am I completely wrong? Now you said it. Am I completely wrong? It's going to be a tough game. Uh, keep keep going, Lassie. You're doing a great job here. No, I I mean, <clears throat> I think it's going to be too hard for for Victor to to uh, uh, not to take the the role of the favorite. Um, but I mean, we, we came a long way and uh, uh, had some tough games, a little bit of luck again, and maybe we can have that uh, again tomorrow. I I mean, uh, we have prepared all week and had a very good preparation uh, so um, I feel we are ready to to give everything uh, we've got and as I said to Lazo it's great to see to see Flensburg here it's always great to see to see new teams and I have to say I get the feeling that this is going to be one of our our best final fours okay the director is wrapping me up I just want to say Katrine Martin Frederick Rodrigo I'm just going to ask you very quickly Katrine one word who's going to win the final four yeah we kill of course <laughs> that's Five words. Is it six words? <laughs> uh, no, I'm only kidding. Martin, who's going to win? Team Viking. Frederick and Renata, if you can say it together, who's going to win? Team Viking. I didn't hear that, but it sounded good. Barcelona. Rodrigo. Barcelona. All right. Good luck to all the guys. Rodrigo. Flensburg. 
Ooh, interesting. A lot of pressure in there, Listen, thanks guys for joining us on the Google Hangout. I want to say, there's a lot of people here. Let's give a rousing round of applause to Lassa, to Victor, to Dominic, to Laszlo. We wish them all the best of luck. Don't forget to tune in. We've got uh, some great games. Thank you for watching the Google Hangout from all of us here. Goodbye and good night.